Hey guys, my name's Adam if this is your first time here and today we're going to talk about the Walking Dead season finale But first we're gonna talk about that live stream last night. I want to apologize Apparently my internet's not as strong as I thought it was um, I did downgrade it recently like about six months ago, and I'm gonna have to Gonna have to try and get it back up. Uh, I've been doing live streams on other people's channels for a while I hope that they haven't had as many glitches as I got. I think I might have I don't know, there might have been something running in the background, but um, yeah, sorry about that. Also, a lot has changed since the Movie Club strike, Strikes Pack days where we would go live every weekend. Uh, it's no longer done through a Google Hangout, it's all done through YouTube's creator. It is Google changes stuff. If you've ever made YouTube videos, you know Google changes stuff every, every week. But enough of that. Oh, and I do want to say that I am probably going to do more live streams, but I obviously have a few kinks to work out, so more on that later. But this week, uh, or today's video, I want to talk about the season finale of uh, The Walking Dead. And what a season finale it was. It was, uh, Negan showed up just, just on time to be considered in this season. A lot of people heard early on that he would be in this season, and uh, yeah, he's in about the last 10 minutes of it, so that's good. Um, a lot of people want to know who he killed. My question is, did he kill them? Because he says that he's going to beat them, and it almost seemed like he wasn't going to kill them, but uh, people seem convinced that he is going to die on the internet, and, uh, I mean, with the weapon that he's chosen, it's not much of a stretch to see that. Uh, you can sort of see him go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and my reaction was everybody on the internet is going to figure out who this person is pretty easily, um, but... Especially towards the end, it is very, it makes it very hard to keep track of where he would end up. And, uh, yeah, so no one really can tell you. I know that in the comics, he kills one character, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see if they stay true to the comics. Um, what did I think about the episode? I did find it reminded me a lot of a wrestling match where there's sort of these two older guys that don't have a whole lot to bring to the table so they sort of spend 10 minutes taking off their jacket and posing for the crowd and just sort of waiting out the clock to fill up time. However, it was done in a very artful, not artful, but very skillful way in that it built drama, it built tension. You knew when it first started happening it was like, oh well we'll see, there's going to be a showdown between, um, between Rick and this other group. And by the end of it, you were like, wow, this is getting, like, this is going to be intense. And when it finally did happen, um, it was like, wow, they're, they don't stand a chance. There's not going to be a showdown. They're going to have to do whatever these people say. And then Negan came out and basically killed the clock for, like, it was probably, like, 20 minutes. It was a big chunk of the episode where he's just doing this monologue at people kneeling down in front of him. Um, Carol is another thing that I wanted to mention is I don't know what is going on with Carol. She is like this, she started out as, like, this sort of innocent, sort of harmless character and then immediately flipped the switch and turned into the baddest, most badass character on the show and now they're sort of dialing her back and they're doing an interesting they're not doing like a shades of gray like it's like the switch is flipping on and off and on and off she's either a fucking hard ass badass whatever or she's this timid little mouse character there's no there's no nuance there's no not nuance but there's no it just it's hard to it's hard to consol consolidate these characters this character as one it's almost like there's two very different characters going on so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out i hope they sort of make a more consistent character out of her um but i mean it is cool like I, a lot of people have said they don't know if she's faking at times or if she's sort of because we do know that she has faked when she first showed up in uh whatever whatever that Places so sometimes she's acting, but I don't think she's acting. I think she's legitimately scared So we'll have to see and find out together um, A lot of people complained about this cliffhanger to them. I have to say Have you seen the show? I mean, especially this season where Glenn dies and then uh, The next episode is basically a completely unrelated character to Glenn who we see his entire backstory and then he joins the crew and um, just and then I think six episodes later is when we finally find out 
who or what happened to Glenn. So cliffhangers are not new to this, so you can't really complain about that. Um, overall, I would say it was an excellent episode. I thought it was very well executed, and I can't wait to see the uh, the next season. A lot of people complaining about the cliffhangers, but like I said, that's not only is that par for the course for the show, but that's par for the course for season finales. That's what you kind of are supposed to do, right? But anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, thanks for watching. And oh yeah, I give this a thumbs up. Great episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.